For nearly a hundred years, people have had dreams or nightmares about robots becoming part of our everyday life. But domestic androids have remained the stuff of science fiction. But now on this industrial estate in Cornwall, behind this innocuous door, all that is about to change. This is the most successful humanoid factory in the world. And this is the 50,000 pound Robo Thespian and he's shipping now. So Robo Thespian, tell me about yourself. How do you work? Hi there. Just having a quick checkup to make sure everything is in working order. Affirmative. I can see the pet. Uh. Uh. My movements are powered by a combination of compressed air, which drives my air muscles and servo motors that move and rotate my head. Observe my articulated hands with four independent fingers, powered by eight miniature air cylinders. I have an integrated diagnostic system which makes it easy to get technical support from our engineers when you need it, wherever you are in the world. Now what's so fascinating about Robo Thespian is he's not just a one-trick robot. You can interact with him in a number of amazing ways. For example, if I go over to the control panel here, uh, as you can see he's picked up my skeleton there and if I now do movements he will copy them. You can add gestures and there's a little laugh. There's a chicken noise always useful, a bit of crying. Uh, you can change his colour, you can give him different kinds of eyes. Those are angry eyes, I'm not sure what I, I think those are kind of surprised eyes. So there's a huge amount you can do with Robo Thespian, but there's one major limitation. Now, Will Jackson, uh, Robo Thespian here, is absolutely amazing, but I've got one complaint. Um, he doesn't walk. Well, this version doesn't walk because it wasn't really necessary. This is a static performance robot. It's designed for communication. He doesn't need to walk. Where's he going to walk to? What's he going to get when he gets there? Walking is fantastically interesting. You can tell a lot about a person from the way they walk. Yeah. You can tell if it's a man, a woman, whether they're aggressive, whether they're friendly. So actually we do want to make walking robots and we are working on it, but not for the traditional utility not kind of app. Bring you a cup of coffee it's and spill really, it all in the saucer. No, not at all, because really, if you look at the economics of that, it's much cheaper to hire a person to do it. <laughs> yes. And they do a better job. And he's £50,000 plus VAT, I believe that is. That's right. Yeah, yeah. and um, I understand you will rent him for parties, we, we, corporate occasions. Corporate occasions, um, trade shows, things like that. We have done rentals for that kind of thing. Yeah. Christmas parties? If you really twist my arm, I would do a Christmas party. Very interesting. Yeah. So thanks very much, Will. Last word, I think, from my friend Robo Thespian. I'll just give him the, the glasses of office. Well, it may be some time yet before future generations of Robo Thespian, his grand robots, perhaps, can wake us up with a nice cup of tea. But it's a pretty impressive bit of British technology nonetheless. From Cornwall's very own Silicon Co. Thanks for watching Technopolis TV.